Hare Krishna, my dear Prabhus and dear Matajis. Thank you for those who joined our morning Japa session, although wala tayo because of certain um, urgent activity na kailangan natin i-address. Pero salamat for those who join still. I just want to greet hello kay Paolo. Yeah, he's a new friend, si Shab Mataji. Rolly Prabhu, Jonah Mataji, Hare Krishna. And of course, ang ating... Um, dear Prabhu, kasali to sa Batch Zero, si Sudar Shyam Prabhu. Hello, Sudar Shyam Prabhu. You were there. Ayan. Alam niyo ba kung ilang taon na si Sudar Shyam? <laughs> now he's just seven, seven years old. Ayan. Sudar Shyam Prabhu, are you there? Diyan siya. Hare Krishna. So, si Sudarshan Prabhu, pag nandito siya, if he is set up, he will help us in reading. Yan. <laughs> oh, nag-break pa sa wala si Sudarshan. Yes. Ayan. Give me a sec. Before we start, we just, I just want to let you know, nahanap na natin ang file natin because ayun yun ang ginawa natin this morning and yesterday, or last night. Someone help me how to find the lost files at in iCloud. I'm just going live. Give me a second. He's going Facebook Live. So everyone, as we um, wait for this Facebook, I just want to invite for one to be able to be in the right mood, in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. Please join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Niram Chaiva Nerotamam Devim Sarasvati Vyasa Tato Jayam Mudirayet Nasta Preyashu Abadreshu Nityam Bhagavati Sevaya Bhagavati Utamas Loki Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki So Ang Nakraan Natin sa ating Srimad Bhagavatam, we are having conversation ni Bhishma and si Krishna because he is actually praying 
before he is about to face death, the last moment ng gusto niya gawin is to pray. Last time, ano yung iniisip niya? He wants to invest. He is some um he is doing his investment. In what? Thinking, willing, and feeling. Feeling and willing. So this is uh, a reminder sa atin. Where do we invest our thinking? Kasi anong kasunod nun? Doon na yung feeling natin. And we are gonna be willing to do that. And of course, we were taught na si Bishma is doing this thinking. Gusto niya i-meditate again yung recently anong nangyari doon sa battlefield na yun, which is si Krishna is trying to attack um, Bishma dahil dun sa mga arrows na niligay ni Bishma sa mga body ni sa body ni um, Krishna saka si Arjuna actually tinamaan pareho so napakaganda na itong um, conversation na to in a, term, in a form of prayer kasi binabanggit niya dun we, were, we are continuing in the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto creation, entitled, The Passing Away of Bhishma Dev. Supposedly, we are gonna be reading until 43, pero since ang ganda kasi nung verse na to, we are diving at least in, sa, sa dalawang ano lang, dalawang verse lang. Andiyan si ano, tapos ka na Sudarshan. <laughs> Yeah. Pag nabukas ng camera sa situations, later siya yung magbabasa sa atin. Yeah. If you are also able to see, si Sudarshan is also giving classes at the very young age. Saka reading, gagawa siya ng mga reading niya. Text number 37. Fulfilling my desire and sacrificing his own promise, he got down from the chariot, took up its will, and ran towards me hurriedly, just as lion, just as a lion goes to kill an elephant. He even dropped his outer garment on the way. So, ito yon. If you have your Bhagavadita, if you have your Shrimad Bhagavatam um, book, merong illustration dyan. This is the actual um, scenario. So, si Krishna, um, anong nangyari sa, sa, ano tayo, sa back story? Before the start ng war, kung natandaan nyo, doon ang galing yung Bhagavad Gita. Ang scenario sa kabilang side nila um, Kauravas, si Duryudan, Tinitis and um, trying to onting insult lang si Bishma Dave kasi siya yung lolo niya. Eh. At the same time, lolo rin sila ng Pandava. Sabi niya, hindi partial ka, ano, Bishma Dave. You're one of the greatest warrior. Pero I don't think kaya mong labanan yung Pandavas kasi apo mo rin sila and favorable ka. Partial ka rin sa kanila. So, ang ginawa ni Bishma Dave, no, I will ha- I'm I'm having these five arrows na yung papatay kaagad sa Pandavas. Yung five arrows na yun para doon sa magkakapatid. So, ang ginawa ni Duridan, okay, very well, I'll keep these arrows. What happened was, the night nung war na yun, nalaman ni Krishna yung mangyayari. Of course, he's the all-knowing. Pinapunta niya ngayon si Arjuna sa kabila ng side sa Kauravas. Mind you, this is the codes of war. Sabi ni Prabhupada dito, the battlefield of Kurukshetra was fought on military principles. Meron silang um, codes of war. Maraming rules dito na hindi pwede i-break. If a Chatterya breaks this, um, it will be his dishonor. Burado siya sa history. Um, technically, yung pride niya ikakrash. Because infamy will be there. Imbis na papag-usapan yung greatest niya sa war, papag-usapan yung infamy niya, yung pag-break niya sa rule. Just like what happened kay Ashvatam. Yung pinag-usapan natin previously. So, tuwing gabi, 
pag hindi sila nagawar, pag tumulong ng consul yung end of war, end of the um, fighting scene nila sa isang araw, ang nangyare was yung mga magkakabilang panig, they will see each other in the middle of the battlefield or it's in each other's camp. Ano ginagawa nila? They will eat together, they will um, talk, pag usapan nila anong nangyari dun sa war, mag-aasaran sila. So they could go in each other's side. Tapos yung war, gabi yun eh. Next morning ulit. Pero this time, ang pumunta sa side ng Karabas is si Arjuna. Bakit? Pinadala siya ni Krishna. And if one is receiving a guest sa bahay nila, even galit na galit ka sa kanya, <laughs> even kaaway mo pa siya, the um, Vedic custom is one should receive him just like one is receiving a loved one. And very um, warm and welcoming should be there. Hospitality should be there. Sabi nga, um, describe din ni, ano to, um, ni Sukadev Goswami na ginawa ni Bhishma Dev. One should receive a guest giving him a place to sit if you have food, prasadam to serve, at le- uh, you can give. If wala, at least water. And one should give sweet words. In that way, one should receive a guest warmly and ask how we could sell- serve yung mga guests natin. And what happened was, pagpunta ni Arjuna sa camp ni Kaurabas, he was warmly welcomed. Even si Duryodhan, yung pangani ng mga Kawaravas, um, na-welcome uh, Arjuna. Nung no, pag-welcome niya kay Arjuna, he asked, My dear Arjuna, ano yung pwede kong iserve sa'yo? Gusto ba itigil na itong war na to? Gusto mo na ba kunin na ba yung, um, how do you call this, yung, yung, yung victory? Si Duryodhan denied all of this at first. Pero this one, at the hype of war, at the same time, si Arjuna mismo yung punta sa ba sa camp niya, ni-receive ni Duryodhan. And, ano mo kung anong hiniling ni Arjuna? <laughs> hiniling niya yung five arrows na galang kay Bhishma. Kasi alam niya, alam ng lahat, alam din ni Krishna, that those five arrows will be the arrows that will kill the five Pandavas. Being a man of his words and customs, even si Doryudan, who is very demonic, binigay ni <laughs> Doryudan kay Arjuna yung five arrows. So, there you go. And then, they, um, they part ways, heal their own um, goodbyes, then they part ways. Si Doryudan, inisip niya, ah, okay, this is definitely um, an arrangement. <laughs> Someone thought about this. Then si Bhishma, iniisip niya yun na walang ibang makakaalam ng ganitong plano natin. Walang ibang makakabasa nung um, plano natin that these five hours will be for the Pandavas, kundi si Krishna lang. He is the all-knowing. He is um, the master of the senses of everyone. Goswami could be the master of his own senses. That is, uh, madalas yung mga gurus. Agodasa, Go is senses, das is servant. The servant of our senses. Sinusunod natin senses natin. But si Krishna is the Rishikesh. Rishikesh is the master of senses of everyone. He could know what everyone is thinking. Kasi he is in everyone's heart as a paramato as well. So he, si Bhishma, sabi niya, okay, si Krishna yung may, ano na ito, may arrangement na ito. Siya yung... Um, yung dahilan bakit pumunta rito si Arjuna bakit nalaman yun so sabi ni ni Sir Prabhu but by tricks Arjuna took the arrows from Duryodhan and Bhishma Dev could understand that this was the trick of Lord Krishna so he took a vow may vow na tinake si Bhishma Dev he took a vow that the next day Krishna would have to take up weapons himself otherwise his friend Arjuna will die nagvow si Bhishma Dev na si Krishna kailangan niya mag 
um, pick up ng weapon to fight in the war. Backstory ulit dito, bakit kailangan niya i-vow to? <laughs> Kung natandaan niyo, si um, Doridan, saka si Arjuna pa rin, before palalo ng start ng war, there was a custom where they would go to different kings, different warriors, to invite them to be on the side ng battle. This is the code of Chatterius. They want to be in the battle, lalo na to, this, w- this was the um, biggest battle in this yuga, the, uh, the transition going to Kali Yuga. So lahat ng warriors sa buong mundo nag-aabang and nabalitaan na tong war na to. And they are all mar- marching, platoons by platoons, phalanx by phalanx, going sa Kuruksetra. Yung iba doon, alam na lang kung kanino sila kakampay na, bigbigay lang sila ng words. Yung iba, hindi pa. They will just have to decide. May mga trick pa nga ginagawa si Duryudan. Even yung mga papunta dapat kay Krishna, sasalubungin nila. Tapos they will, they will serve them well. They will welcome them. Then until sobrang ma-please yung mga leaders ng mga soldiers na yon, the soldiers will ask, what can I do for you in return? Or how, should, um, how could I reciprocate? Ang trick ni Duryudan, he will tell, okay, please, side on our, uh, please go on our side in the war. Yan, wala silang magagawa. <laughs> Even kamag-anak or very close sa Pandavas, ginagawa ni Duryudan yan. So, si Krishna is also a very influential um, part nung um, mga soldiers before. As part of the Yadavas and also um, kasama niya sila King Ugrasena. Krishna have a lot of armies weaponries, and soldiers. May mga kayang lumaban sa war. So, si Arjuna, again, siyempre, hindi natin matanggi to. Si Krishna, uh, nag-arrange talaga ng lahat. Si Arjuna, saka si Duryudan, have to go at the same time. Nagkagulatan sila sa gate. Have to go at the same time sa palace ni Krishna. Only thing is, pagpunta nila, sa palace ni Krishna, sarado ang yung palace, pero nauna si Duryudan. Baka sarado kasi tulog pa si Krishna. So, pagpunta nila, pagdating ni, I mean, pagdating Arjuna, nandun na si Duryudan. Oh, my dear cousin. Magkaaway sila rito, ha. They will um, be in the war. Sila yung main soldier. Sila yung main na uh, uh, character na magkalaban sa war. Pero nag-usap sila. Oh, my dear Duryudan, what are you doing here? Sabi Duryudan, yes, um, I will go and um, talk to Krishna to be um, invited sa side namin sa war. Sabi ni Arjuna, oh, same thing. Same, same. <laughs> so, they were allowed na pumasok sa quarters ni Krishna. While Krishna is sleeping, they were allowed to go inside. What happened was, si Duridan went to Krishna's head. Tapos, si Arjuna went to Krishna's um, lotus feet. Duridan is trying to massage yung head ni Krishna to wake him up. Tapos, si Arjuna was trying to massage yung paa ni um, Krishna. So, nagising si Krishna. Una niya nakita si Arjuna. Second niya nakita si Doridan. Bakit? Pag gumigising tayo, hindi naman tayo titingala. <laughs> Laging mag-open tayo ng eyes. Um, lower extremities natin yung makikita natin. Yung lower limbs. And nandun si Arjuna. Tapos, tingin niya, nandun si Doridan. Oh, my dear cousin. Um, what brought you here? How could I be of service? And then, kailangan nalang explain. Both of them. Um... Actually, sabi ni, Arjun, ni Duridan, actually, nauna ako dito, Krishna. Uh, I, f- uh, f- I arrived first. My purpose is to invite you to join sa side namin in the war. Uh, but you are my dear cousin, sabi ni Krishna. Sabi ni <laughs> um, Arjuna. Please accept my humble obeisances. Actually, my dear Krishna, I went here to invite you to be part ng war in our side. 
same. So si Krishna being <coughs> being the um, ultimate cause of all causes, sa yung reason ba't nangyari yung scenario na yun, he is also um, the most intelligent sa lahat. He wanted to please since kailangan mo tumagap ng guests and receive them and um, serve them well, kailangan niya ma serve pareho sila. Even close na dun sa kasi niya si Arjuna, pero both of them were invited. Tapos, si Duryodhan pa yung unang dumating. So, si Krishna have to decide how to give them um, the decision kasi may option sa ibibigay. This option is first, one who could choose his army with all the weaponry, package deal. Lahat yon, No reservation. Pangalawang option is, one could choose Krishna. Pero si Krishna would not take, uh, take up any weapon. Hindi siya tutulong dun sa war. <laughs> then, since ang una nakita niya si Arjuna, you have to consider that. Take ni Krishna yon. Sinabi niya na, okay, since ikaw yung una nakita ko Arjuna, please, you can choose first. Si Doridan on the back of his mind, trying to convince. Sana kunin niya, niya, kunin niya si Krishna mismo para sa akin yung weaponry, sa akin yung armor, armor. Tapos yung mga armies. Si Arjuna in the humble mood, Oh Krishna, wherever you are, um, I know victory will be there. Kahit hindi ka lumaban sa war. Pinili ni Arjuna si Krishna. Ang package nun, hindi siya magkipick up ng weapon, hindi siya sila laban sa war. And, Doridan was so proud. Okay then. <laughs> um, yung purpose niya doon, pag uh, punta niya, was fulfilled. And he will, almost didn't say anything and just left. And after. Kasi, nakuha niya yung thousands and millions of armory, ar- army sa kanilang armory ni Krishna. His energy. So, ang promise ni Krishna rito, he will be on Arjuna's side, not will not gonna pick up any weapon to help in the war. So, ito yung gusto i-break ni Bhishma. Dito sa promise niya, sabi niya, the vow that the next day, Krishna would have to take up weapons himself. Grabe yung vow niya, no? He is putting Krishna in the situation na si Krishna kailangan i-break yung promise and yung vow niya. So, nung Araw na yon, back sa war. No araw na yung next day, si Bishma lumalaban si Bishma, and he fought very violently. Nagwawala sa dun sa war, and dami na mamatay by thousands. He is a maharat. He could kill thousands and thousands of armies. Of course, pinipili lang niya yung mga pinapatay niya, yung mga lower na mga type of armies, hindi niya pinapatay yon. Yung mga um, higher na mga uh, type of um, with position and kayang pumatay din na madami. Pero thousands of them are um, being killed. Mind you, isa sa pinakamagaling na um, chatre or soldier in that time is si Bishma. Matanda na siya rito ah. Um, hundreds of years na siya. Sabi niya, na, ilang taon na si, ano, si Sudarshan? Ilang taon si Bishma? Yan. Maya, alam niya, kahapon pinag-uusapan namin, ilang taon na siya nung namatay si Bishma. So, sobrang tanda na ni Bishma dito, lolo na siya. And in fact, um, kasama sa war, kalaban niya doon, yung mga apo niya. And anak nung apo niya. Sila Abimanyu, kasi apo niya si Arju, sila, sila Pandavas eh. Tapos kalaban pa, yung mga anak ng Pandavas, andun din, kalaban din ni Bishma, sila Abimanyu. Ganun nakitanda si Bishma. Tapos malapit na rin magkaanak yung um, sila um, Abimanyu. Sila pareksit na yon. So, ang tanda ni Bishma. Pero, ganun pa rin siya kagaling. Ang dami pa rin pinapatay. Paano siya naging sobrang galing? Even si Parasuram, maraming um, soldiers na ang teacher is Parasuram. And si, si Parasuram, pinag-usapan natin previously, he is also Krishna's incarnation. He, is, he will be also the martial guru ni 
Kalki Avatar. In the future, siya yung mag end ng Kaliuga. Siya rin yung magiging guru nun. Okay, sabi nga si Parasharam daw nasa paligid lang natin. Ano? Anyway, si Parasharam, Krishna himself, fought Bhishma back then. Pero he wasn't able to kill Bhishma. Ganun kagaling si Bhishma. So si Grandfather Bhishma, nagkawala siya sa war nung na-battle na to in the next day. And kano kadelikado, lahat were in trouble. Na even si Arjuna was in trouble. Nakukorner sila ni Bhishma. 256 years old, sabi ni Sudarshanyas. Kasi pinanganak si um, Yudhisthir, matanda-matanda si Parasharam, alam ko, almost 200 something years na siya, or 200 plus na siya. So, that day, sobrang cornered na sila Arjuna. And si Arjuna was very um, in trouble. Lahat very uh, tense. Sabi na si Prabhupada, Arjuna and Krishna were in trouble. Arjuna was almost defeated. So, eto na yung mangyayari. Si Bish may may promise, may vow siya. Na ang vow niya ay si Krishna mag-take up ng weapon. Ang vow niya na si Krishna, ibibreak yung vow niya. <laughs> Grabe yun, di ba? <laughs> uh, otherwise, Arjuna will die. Pero, Krishna is um, actually a servant na kanyang greatest servant. How? Sabi nga palagi ni Nabadip Chandra Prabhu, yung entrance palagi ni Krishna sa story ng Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavatita, siya yung chariot driver. He is serving his devotees. So, he is serving his devotees. What more pa, iliktas niya yung devotee niya. So, Krishna knows that by his arrangement, of course, Arjuna was about to die because of Bhishma Sarat. Sobrang galit na galit siya. Pinapatay niya halos lahat. Tapos, ang ginawa pa ni Bhishma, pinana na pinana si Arjuna. Back then, kapag tinamaan ka ng pana ng mga arrows, um, it's either matutumba ka tapos babangang ka, lilalaban ka with the arrows in, nakapir sa'yo. Or minsan nahihimatay sila. Pero their medicine, wala nang ganun ngayon. <laughs> Yung mga medicine na in Ayurveda, tinanong ko ito sa Ayurvedic doctor, eh, bakit sa battlefield of um, Kuruksetra, they will be unconscious pag tinamaan sila. Tapos yung chariot driver, dadali na sila sa camp. Will, um, yung may mga doctors, may mga Brahmin sila doon. They will um, uh, cure, they will heal yung wound. They will heal kasi mabilis talaga. By use of Ayurvedic medicine, yung mga herbs noon. Sabi ko, bakit wala bang ganun ngayon? Wala na daw, tinago na ni Mother Earth. Because people are so sinful. Yung mga potent na mga medicines, even the potent flowers, sabi nga yung mga flowers dati, from miles or hundreds of miles, maamoy mo na yung flowers noon. Yung mga favorite din ni Krishna. But anyway, tinago na lahat ni uh, Mother Bumi, ni Mother Earth yon because people were so, uh, until now, people are so sinful, they have a lot of karmas, they, killing, they are killing animals, but, um, specifically the cows, by thousands and billions. Sobrang grabe. So, tinatago ni Mother Earth yun. But during this time, effective pa yon. Pero sila Arjuna sa si Krishna, kahit marami silang pierce, pinirce sila ng arrows in that battlefield, tuloy pala sa sawar. Kung baga kayang-kaya pa nila. Pero si Krishna was receiving arrows and Arjuna was also receiving arrows. And Krishna knows na Arjuna will be killed hindi, hindi niya mapipigilan, hindi niya mapapatay si Bishma kasi walang kayang pumatay kay Bishma. So out of his um, anger na kailangan i-show ni Krishna, kailangan niya ring um, magpakita ng angry mood as if galit siya dun sa pinapanasan ni Bishma. Of course, he is very transcendental. And kailangan natin balikan yung story na si Krishna, yung body niya, is not a material body. So, hindi siya pwede maging angry. Kasi hindi talaga siya nasaktan. This is a spiritual body. The soul, um, this is a spirit, it ritual, a spiritual body, just like the soul. The soul could never, um, never be um, cut into pieces, born by, 
burn by fire, moisten by water, wither by the wind. At the same time, yung bari ni Krishna ganun din. But you have to receive these arrows. Kasi this is Bhishma's offering, just like offering of flowers. And also, he have to be uh, in an angry mood. <laughs> then, what happened um, was, kailangan niyang pigilan si Bhishma Dev. Sobrang garit ni Krishna. Just like lion, sabi niya. A- Bhishma Dev, ito. Krishna is in the angry mood as a lion goes to kill an elephant. Ano siya sa attack mode? Game face na si Krishna. I have to stop Bhishma Dev and kill him. Even meron siyang vow. He will break it. Bakit? You have to save Arjuna. Bakit kailangan gawin ni Krishna yun? Bakit kailangan mapunta dun sa sitwasyon na yun? Um, this is because, ito yung explain in a while. Na text number 38 yan. We're going deeper sa text natin. But this will be the last text for for today. Two verses ng tayo. Translation. May He, Lord Krishna, the personality of Godhead, who awards salvation, be my ultimate destination. On the battlefield, He charged me as if angry because of the wounds dealt by my sharp arrows. His shield was scattered and His body was smeared with blood due to the wound. So, ito na yung picture na yun, again. Ito yung meditation ni Bhishma Dev bago siya mamatay. Na si Krishna is attacking him in an, angry, in an angry mood. As if a lion is attacking an elephant. Tapos, kung nakikita nyo yung garment niya ni Krishna, yung, yung nagko-cover sa to- upper portion niya, um, fell down. Pero hindi napansin ni Krishna yon, Kasi nga, he is actually attacking um, Bhishma Dev. Ano yung ginamit ni Krishna? He took up a wheel of a char- chariot. Just like a Sudarshan Chakra. <laughs> Kusang, yung pangalan ni Sudarshan. Di ba? Kumuha si Krishna ng wheel of chariot. Just like a Sudarshan. Si Krishna, in the form of Lord Vishnu, meron makikita niyo, may hawak ako si um, Vishnu na Sudarshan. At the same time, si Krishna ginamit din to to kill a lot, a lot of demons. Pinup- pampugot niya rin ng ulo to. <laughs> the, this is the ultimate um, weapon. Actually, may personification nga daw si Sudarshan. Yeah. May, ano siya, may form siya. Aside dun sa disc. So, si Krishna, he took up the will. <coughs> Then, he's trying to charge Bhishma Dev. And Bhishma Dev, very sweetly, stood still in praying. It's a battlefield na to, in praying. Ni-enjoy niya yung, ni-realish niya yung uh, moment na yon. Si Krishna, just like a dark cloud, with pierced arrow sa skin niya, may dripping blood. Just like rose petals falling down from the sky, tas may thunder, tapos may dark cloud. Ganun daw kaganda yung view na, na may meditate ni Bhishma Dev. Tapos si Krishna is attacking him. Hindi, na, hindi si Bhishma Dev para ito na yung, ito yung isang um, very ecstatic scenario na pwede niyo makita in that battlefield. And he stood um, still, hindi siya lumalaban dito kasi he wanted to be killed by Krishna during that time. Sin- sobrang swerte niya if mangyari yon kasi it's a glorious death. At the same time, yung thought na binibreak ni K- ni Krishna yung vow niya just to save a devotee. At the same time, bakit niya binibreak yung vow niya? Krishna is breaking his own vow para i-fulfill yung vow nung kanyang devotee kasi nag-vow si Bhishma Dev. So alam ni Bhishma Dev tong sitwasyon na to, scenario na to. And he's, he saw in, his, um, in front of his eyes na si Krishna is breaking his own vow para ma-fulfill yung vow ng uh, devotees niya. Ganon kasweet si Krishna. 
much more pinapriority niya yung devotees niya than his own self. He asked um, Krishna, si Krishna, he asked Arjuna, declared it boldly, O Arjuna, that my devotees will never perish. Kasi si Krishna palagi nag-break ng vow niya, ng promise niya. Bakit niya ginagawa yun? Just for his own devotee's sake. Para matupad yung vow ng devotees na yun. Siya is willing to break yung vow kahit magkaroon siya ng infan- infamy pag-usapan siya ng tao na hindi niya ginagawa yung vow niya. So he's breaking his own vow. So ito yung nire-realize ni Bhishma Dev in the battlefield, in the battlefield of Kuruksetra. Piriin mo si Krishna kaya gawin yun sa mga devotees niya. So si Krishna, um, kalaban niya sa battlefield si um, Krishna and si um, Bhishma Dev. Kabilang side sila. Pero, si Krishna, even yung naka-garb na enemies niya are giving all his love sa mga devotees niya. It seems na partial lang siya kay Arjuna. Kasi kaibigan niya, pinag-drive niya. Pero even yung mga devotees niya on the other side, he's fulfilling their desires. Kahit mukhang enemy niya yun. It is just like, uh, sabi ko, as astounding feature of the such dealings of such dealings is that a devotee can please the Lord by playing the part of an enemy. Pinufulfill niya rin yung mga desires ng mga devotees niya. Lalo na yung mga vow. Yung mga vow nila. Kasi just like a father, he wants his son to be much more um, famous than him. Mas inaalagaan nila yung words ng anak nila. Kahit sila mapahamak na basta yung anak nila dere-derecho. Um, in, in his uh, path, tapos um, man of his words, ano, siya, dibali na siya kahit siya yung mag-sacrifice. Ganon yung love ni Krishna sa devotees niya. So yan, um, sabi rito, um, but he did so because the warrior devotee who wanted to see the transcendental beauty of the Lord decorated with wounds created by a pure devotee. Si Krishna just like um, yung mga devotees niya is decorating him, sabi ni Navadip Chandra to, decorating him in the um, altar, putting flowers, putting um, gopi dots, decorations sa skin ni Krishna, arranging his um, hair, lalagyan din ng mga ornaments, yung garments. Yung scenario na to, parang ganito yung ginawa ni Bhishma Dev in his worship kay Krishna sa battlefield. Siyempre, yung garment ni Krishna medyo nalalaglag because of that form. Tapos, yung decoration niya was um, being um, smeared sa body niya in the form of his transcendental blood sa wound para siya yung mga decoration. And Bhishma Dev was enjoying his darshan. May ibang mga devotees, meron silang kasama sa altar nila to, yung picture to. Yung iba nga, ano eh, naging deities yung form ni Krishna. Killing, wanted to kill Bhishma Dev. Ganun yung relationship nila. Then he proceeded. Sabi nga rito, just like um, yung lover goes to a lover. Ganun yung explanation ni Bhishma at saka Rabatit ako dito. Na in got that level, and just like a li- love bites ng mga ng loved ones. Ganun yung type of pain sa um, arrows na sinad ni Bhishma Dev. And this um, scenario is actually Krishna's service sa kanyang devotee. He wanted to please his great devotee. And all the devotees is aspiring for this, to become in this level. Mind you, si balik tayo dun sa deathbed. Si Bhishma Dev, is praying and at the meditation niya na si um, Krishna is on the battlefield trying to take his life. That be, let it be my gati, my destination. Sabi ni um, Bhishma Dev, let it be my gati. My destination is you, Krishna. Tapos, naging meditate siya sa form ni Krishna. There are very few devotees who had this chance na mamatay sila not just taking of Krishna. 
Ba't kaharap nila? Face to face si Krishna. Sino yung nama acharya natin, Sudarshan Chakra? Uh, chakra. Nama acharya. <laughs> Haridas Thakur. Yeah. And si Haridas Thakur in Jagarat Puri, he died in front ni Lord Chaitanya. Buhat-buhat pa rin siya. Binuhat din siya. And Bhishma Dev also had the same um, of course, na una si Bhishma Dev, pero they have the same glorious death. Habang namamatay siya, he is meditating sa harap ni Krishna. And he's praying, May you be my destination, O Krishna. O Mukunda, sabi niya. O Mukunda. Then yung meditation ni um, Bhishma Dev is this part ng war na yon. Ang daming magaganda magiging verses nito but we will not go further. Um, we have to um, relish this kasi ito yung highlight nung no, pastime ni um, prayers I mean ni Bishma Dave papunta kay Krishna. This is art of dying. One should prepare for this moment. One sh- do meron yung last will. <laughs> First time ko makakita ng last will ng buhay na tao. Parang, taga lang, parang nga ooy naman. Naisip na niya yun. Diba? Pero of course, it will be beneficial kasi that person will not be thinking a lot of things on the um, deathbed niya. Oh, kanina ka papamana to. Diba? Asi kasi mo to, alagaan mo yung mga kapatid mo. O magbati na kayo. ba diba, ganun palagi pag may mamatay na. Huwag kayong mag-away-away sa lupa. <laughs> So, ito yung last. Pero si um, Bhishma Dev, yung huling gusto niya ma-impart na uh, knowledge, na lesson, is sinabi na niya kay Yudhisthir, how to handle, how to rule this earth because siya na yung next na emperor. And Bhishma Dev was um, withdrawing all his senses. <clears throat> In the perfect timing, this is the preparation, the art of dying. In the perfect timing, in the perfect um, scenario, together and surrounded by devotees. This surrounded by devotees, ang laking lesson sa akin to kasi always naririnig to kay Navadip Chandra Prabhu. Yan. Si Navadip Chandra Prabhu, ba, alam ko nakikinig siya sa, ano ngayon, sa Facebook Live. Marami siyang comedy, pero yung, <laughs> yung mga um, stories na kwento niya, very um, anlalim ng mga uh, pinanghuhugutan. There's a story how to deal with other devotees. Kasi the other um, devotees, we might see, actually we are in a hospital. Lahat tayo is nagkapagaling sa mga sickness natin. Um, our illness coming from this uh, living in this material world. And we want to be rec- um, healed and to recover. And Krishna consciousness is just like an hospital. And, hindi lahat na sa hospital is pare-pareho ng sakit. Yung iba doon is contradicting <coughs> sa ibang klaseng sakit na ibang tao. Some will have sickness sa other organs. Some will be in other organs. Our sickness is not just physical. Kasi yung ibang sickness natin is our own madalas old habits na gusto natin tanggalin natin. Kasi we want to be having a Krishna conscious habits or meron tayo mga nature and karma that could be um, still within us just like the character the character uh, the personality or they call it nature and madalas ng mga natitirang mga um, unwanted baggages natin is hindi kasundo yung mga ibang may sakit din yung ibang devotees so there will be um, just like in any constitution, but in this hospital, there will be differences. Hindi lahat para magka-jive, automatic. So, yung lesson na palagi yung kinukwento sa akin ni Navodip na, um, yes, devotees will be different, will have a lot of differences. Sometimes, one devotee will get into the um, nerves ng other devotees. Pero, one should always meditate. 
one should always be in a humble mood in spite of all differences. Kasi in the future, we are praying na nakapalibot sa atin yung mga devotees. And as um, makikita natin yung ibang videos of a devotee dying in his deathbed, we will be surrounded by the devotees in our area kasi sila yung malapit geographically. And minsan, yung mga devotees that's getting in, on your nerve, sila rin yung kasama sa deathbed mo. Trying to save you. Trying to remind you of the holy name. Kasi ayun yung isang art of um, dying, preparation. That is actually Krishna's uh, mercy. An arrangement na He will put His devotees to be surrounded, uh, to surround you at the time of death. We are praying for that. That is um, the mercy of Krishna and devotees. And the lesson na lagi ko natutunan kay Navadip is, kailangan you could serve your devotees sa paligid mo kasi they might be um, those who will surround you at the time of your death. He will help you. So ngayon pa lang you serve them na. You thank them already. Another lesson na natutunan ko in reading the um, um, the scriptures, specifically yung ating Chaitanya Sharitamrita, the pastime of Lord Chaitanya, is that Krishna's um, is it, Krishna is impartial. He's favorable to anyone. Pero, just like Arjuna and Bhishma Dev, minsan nagumuha ka siyang partial, nagiging favorable siya because some of his devotees are really um, on the top level ng service sa kanya, ng right mood. And in this time ng Kali Yuga, sobrang, um, how do you call it? Time of Kali Yuga, sobrang favorable si Krishna, sobrang please siya sa mga devotees. Those who are dedicating their lives in spreading yung Krishna consciousness. This is the um, salvation, just like a benediction moon in this darkness ng Kali Yuga. And Guru, Shri Prabhupada and Lord Chaitanya is so pleased kapag nakakarinig sila ng um, distribution of this transcendental knowledge. In fact, when Shri Prabhupada was in his deathbed, is translating maraming devotees na yung mga ibang management na um, topics hindi na binabrought up kay Prabhupada kasi he has already established yung GBC. But Prabhupada is also always giving mga lessons. Pero alam mo ba yung isang ecstatic na um, moment during Sir Prabhupada's deathbed? He always wanted to hear yung mga Sankirtan results yung mga book results ng distribution ng mga um, devotees niya. He even, um, one devotee even said, one by one, yung mga didistribute ng tao. Okay, Rolly Prabhu distributed five Bhagavad Gita, ten Krishna book, and five sets of Srimad Bhagavatam. In the temple, pre-COVID, ina-announce yun. Every day, lalo na, lalo na dati, every day, ina-announce yung mga na-distribute ng mga devotees um, the day before. Ngayon, parang as an, as an offering na as like a month, a week. Pero sa ibang tempos, like, just like we, when we were in Pune, Mayapur, and Brindavan, they were announcing every day yung mga distribute na books. And si Srila Prabhupada, even on his deathbed, ito yung ginagawa niya. He wanted to hear yung mga results ng distribution of books. Not just for um, um, results of um, Lakshmi. No. Kasi he knows that these books will save others' lives. Spiritual time bomb yan. Directly dun sa nakareceive ng books or indirectly dun sa mga kakareceive ng books. Sabi nga yung mga uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, this um, um, also Bhagavad Gita, may nakatalang pangalan na dyan eh. Kung sino yung uh, para siyang um, smart na missile. Alam niya kung saan siya pupunta. <laughs> so we have to um, facilitate it facilitate yung mga books as si Krishna's incarnate as Krishna's incarnation kung saan siya pupunta we have to make it available distribute it much more directly or indirectly or minsan madaming tao yung maapektuhan noon much more yung mga nabasa kong stories marami nagiging devotee kapag lumalaki sila even yung parents nila hindi devotee or tumigil na maging devotee kapag merong set of books much more is yung Srimad Bhagavatam 
sa bahay nila. I've watched a lot of um, how one came to Krishna consciousness sa kapodcast. Ang dami ko narinig na, well, sa bahay namin may set of books ni Shira Prabhupada. I, they grew up seeing them. So, sobrang importante yon. So, um, these books are just like si Prabhupada um, very ecstatic sa hearing this. And ganoon na please yung guru. We could not actually pay back yung na-receive natin na uh, mercy sa guru. Sa kanila galing yung knowledge eh. Paano natin ibabalik sa kanya? No. They will be pleased kapag nakikita nila that we are sharing this to others. We are the, not the end users ng knowledge na to. It should be passed down. And the more we pass it to others, the more we will learn. The more we will realize. The more you give love, the more you will gain love. And the more you give Krishna, the more you gain Krishna. And bakit ko kinukwento yun? While studying and um, the life of Lord Chaitanya, he even promised that those who will die, sometimes they will die in the battlefield. Hindi glorious death, katulad ng um, nakikita natin, pag-usapan natin, surrounded by devotees, perfect timing. Some devotees will have that it seems na parang normal lang. Some accident sa car, or nagkasakit, o baka na COVID, di ba? or um, ang dami, di ba? Pero, specifically, if that devotee is a Sankirtan devotee, sabi nga, may nabasa ako sa, about Sankirtan book, matay ka, lalo lalo na paghawak ako yung libro <laughs> and trying to distribute yung knowledge. And of course, if your life was dedicated on that, if hindi mo maalala si Krishna at the time of that, if hindi ka rin masurround ng devotees at the time of that, pero you have dedicated your life distributing Krishna to others, being in this Sankirtan movement, even very few books were distributed by you, but the love and the effort and endeavor to share that, to share the knowledge and Krishna consciousness to others, if one dedicated this life performing that, si Lord Chaitanya mismo, yung susundo, <laughs> and will bring you back home, back to God. May special ka na sundo. <laughs> May special ka na, ano, na Uber. <laughs> Just like Tukaram Maharaj. He was also um, a, a devotee of Lord Chaitanya. And, as um, in the tree, kay Tukaram Maharaj, um, you can search about his life. Under the tree, he was um, on the verge of dying and just like Bhishma. And when people know that one is about to die, a saintly person, he's um, there and there have, um, having the last association. And actually, si- nakita lang lahat ng tao na doon na sinundo ng Vimana ito ka ng Maharaj. Of course, hindi <laughs> lahat obvious na makikita natin yun. Pero that is Lord Chaitanya's promise, Lord Krishna's promise. He will make arrangement and he will even um, fetch and go to pick up that um, fallen warrior in the field. Kasi this Sankirtan, this Kali Yuga is our battlefield and the way for us to serve Krishna and to please Him is through this weapon. And we have to um, charge it, fire it, and show it to the enemies. <laughs> and promise ni Lord Chaitanya, they will personally pick them up at the time of death. So that is the art of dying. Thank you very much for joining. Salamat sa mga nanonood din sa Facebook Live. And then of course, si Radhanath Prabhu, sa Kasi Radhanath Chani Prabhu. And thank you for joining our session sa ating Zoom. We will have um, last session para sa prayers ni uh, Bishma Dave. We are extending this because it's so important. It's the art of dying. Thank you very much, Jonah Mataji. So, Darshan Prabhu, if you're free, you can always join us. Next time, you will read for us. Panorin niyo yung mga lecture niya. And he is one of the students dun sa batch zero before in batch one. Kasama sa dun. He's making a lot of um, mga assignment natin na so brang gagin. Kung natanda niyo yung chapter 11, di ba make an art yun? Si Sudar siya gumawa ng kanta. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Shamata Ji, Roli Prabhu, Kanay Krishna, 
Pueblo. Maraming maraming salamat. Please be Krishna conscious. Chant your rounds. And of course, you know the drill. Read Srimad Bhagavatam every day. Nityam Bhagavatam Sevaya. Serve Srimad Bhagavatam by reading it, studying it every day, and serve person Bhagavat by pleasing them and um, doing their instructions, specifically the Guru. Grandara Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Lord Bhishma Dev Ki Jai. Gora Pramanande. O glorious assembled devotees. Reborn. Bye.